People often say that the first year of living together is the hardest, but is that true? Mm. In today's episode, we're going to break down that first year of living together and give our opinion on if that first year is the hardest. Let's talk about it. So people often say that the first year is the toughest year, and like we said in the intro, but why do you think that is? Why do they, the, the infamous they, mm -hmm. why do people say that the first year is the toughest? You know, you have two people coming from two different lifestyles that are coming together under a single household. Right. So as much as you can try to prepare for it, part of you is feeling like, is this going to work out? Like, I mean, I know we work and we're kind of apart. Right. But now that we're together under the same household, sharing an apartment, a home together, like, are we going to enjoy each other as much? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of new experiences that will happen within the first year. And that takes some getting used to, you know, no one is perfect. And so you have to adapt and you have to understand that there's going to be a lot that happens within that first year. And so I think that's why people say it's the toughest Yeah. because you just simply just don't know what you're going to get truly yeah. when, when you're living with someone within that, that first year. And I definitely could agree with that because when you're dating somebody or when you when you're not living under the same roof that person has the opportunity to not be their true uh, authentic self yes. on a day-to-day -day basis but when you live with somebody yeah and you see the 24 7 yeah. you're going to sleep with them and yep. you're and you're waking up to yeah. them every day yeah and you're getting to know who this person is in and out. And th it, there's no more looking cool when you go out on a date or you go yes. out to a, a nice yeah. movie or something like that. No, you go see that. You go see <laughs> That's that. That's when you get the wig right. off. You, you get the, the snoring in your sleep. You get, you know, you get, right. you know, maybe your partner is a little gassy after Taco Tuesday. Like uh -huh. it's just all of those things. And uh, even, mm -hmm. or yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, there's a plethora I mean, of different a plethora things. Of I mean, like, are they organized or are they just a slob? Yeah. Like, and it doesn't even have to be that the person is a slob. It's just more so like their habits are very different from yours. Yeah. And you all are now living together where you have to share a space yeah. that was once just like your own. Yeah. And so you have to understand that there's a little give and take, you know, mm -hmm. like you can't expect your partner to be exactly like you right? and vice versa. Now, if you do find someone that's like, oh, we're the same when it comes to cleanliness, when it comes to being as organized, when it comes to, you know, just like certain things around the house and this, this and that, then that is great. Mm -hmm. But that's just not the reality for everybody, yeah. you know. It's, um, it's, def mm -hmm. it's definitely not. And I, th I think uh, you would be fooling yourself if you think that that first year isn't going to have some challenges. Mm -hmm. And I think that is normal. Yeah. So when it comes to the question, is the first year the hardest out of all the years? I, I would say yes, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be hard. It's just more so that first year, there's so many different new experiences and so many new challenges that could come your way and just adapting to two lifestyles uh, now meshing under one roof, mm -hmm. there is a lot of difficulties that can happen with that. And just when you're experiencing something new, mm -hmm. something out of the norm for anybody, for anything that you do, yeah. there's a little bit of growing pains with it. Yeah. And I think that's why that first year can be considered the hardest. And yeah. that's probably good news for a lot of people out there. Definitely people who are watching this because We've been in a relationship for 12 years now, mm -hmm. and I would say that that first year was the hardest. Now, was it hard? No, first year living together. First, first, first year yeah. living together. The mm -hmm. first year living together was probably the hardest, but I wouldn't necessarily say it was. I wouldn't, and even for me, it. I feel like it had its challenges, but it wasn't like, the hardest per se i would say that it was a very weird <laughs> weird yeah uh year yeah only because like you said and i don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over but 
it's like, will we like each other? Like it's, it, right. it's, and it's weird because it's very exciting. Like it's very exciting to embark on a new chapter and a new journey with your partner. You know, you're signing the lease, you're, you're moving in, you know, you really get to connect on a deeper level, but it's also weird because it's like, okay, like I got to go put on my acne medicine now. I'm like, eh, <laughs> I don't know if he see me like this or, you know, and you know you're it? with this person. Hold on. Let me just say this one, one part. You're with this person 24 seven. And mm. so you have to understand that with that, it comes humility yeah. and you having to let your guard down because your person has to see you, understand you and truly know you for you. And that comes with living together. That truly comes with living together. Uh -huh. You know, you see all facets of your right. partner. Right. You know, the parts that they wanted to hide from you, you know, when you weren't living together, right. they are exposed to all of that. And My so God. I think that's why it has its challenges, but it's also like exciting, but it's weird because, you know, it's just a lot of things happening. Yeah. But if you have the right partner, they're going to love you for you. Mm -hmm. Um and all of your little quirks that you that you may have, like this one talks in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Put Almost, my business all the way out there. All the way out there. <laughs> all the time. And I remember the first year I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> Right. Shane, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> but now, you know, I just know that like, okay, ah, yeah, an, it's, a, it's another night. It's just another night. Him, <laughs> you know, I'll ask him a question or something while, <laughs> while he's talking in his sleep. Uh, and Shane just knows with me, like anyone that knows me, I've always had really bad allergies growing oh my up gosh. since I was like a kid, like puffy eyes, so, snorting, me, swelling, me, everything. Let, so let me tell this story. <laughs> let me tell this story. Okay. So every morning, I mean, <laughs> this is how I get woken up if I'm not already up. <laughs> yeah. A whole bunch of snorting and a whole bunch of blowing the nose and and rubbing the eyes and <laughs> I mean every single day and that's yeah. something I had to get used to. Yeah, but, I mean now I mean it's like and of course I didn't want him to see that when right. we first started dating. But you know look, that's but. what that's what <laughs> relationships are about. It's yeah. about growing together. And those first couple of years, yeah, there might be new experiences. Like ah oh, man, I don't know if I really want to do this in in front of this person. Yeah, but. If you want a long-term relationship uh, that's going to last the, the the test of time, then you've got to be 100% comfortable yeah. with your partner. Yes. And we feel comfortable enough to share these personal stories yeah. about me snorting, about her <laughs> snorting. <laughs> I mean, but, like, between me and, and our dog. Oh, my gosh. So He's look, just, whew, our, our I'm dog, sorry. Our, I feel bad for you sometimes. Yeah, our dog is the same way. Our dog it, it be snorting. As soon as she wakes up, she is, because she gets so excited. She sneezes so she, a lot she when she gets excited. in yeah. the morning. So between Journey and, and uh, <laughs> my wife over here, it's like, it's like a musical trumpet band. I mean. <laughs> <Brass track. laughs> yeah. Uh, so we just wanted to also just add a little light to it because. Right. Similar to what you may be going through, we've gone through that phase right. and we know that it does have challenges. It can be, you know, tough, but it's very exciting. And it's all about getting to know your partner Amen. on a deeper level and truly understanding their habits, like what gets them out of bed in the morning, what makes them happy, what mm -hmm. are their little quirks while they're sleeping, things like that. That's how you truly get to know your partner. And also it makes you, in a sense, like fall in love even more Ooh. with your partner. You know what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. like, you're seeing this side of, of your partner. You've already fell in love with them. But you start to see these other sides to right. your partner. And, and that's important. Yeah, it's important. And and it makes you just kind of, like, really appreciate it, too. Of course, there are things that you're you're not going to like, you know. Yeah. But I think all in all, you, you kind of look back and it's like, wow, that's my husband over there. He's so cute. Look I at know. him. And, and <laughs> the longer that you're in the in a relationship or yeah. in a marriage, mm -hmm. the more that you get to really appreciate that the yeah. years that go on. So if you are in your first year of living with your partner or you're approaching that first year, you know, really just don't look at try not to look at it so dauntingly. You know, I, we would just say be open to the process, you know, 
it is a lot and it's a new experience for both people. Yeah. So both people have to be open to the process and kind of make a decision and, and go from there. Amen. And what we say at the end of every video is enjoy the journey Yeah. because that's what it's about. And that's also why we named our dog journey. <laughs> it's about enjoying the journey yeah. along the way. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have done for 12 years. And that first year is an exciting time. Mm -hmm. It's a scary time. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of emotions that go into it. But mm -hmm. that first year can really be the trajectory or it can be that stepping stone yeah. to something beautiful that you can blossom yep. for years and years to come. Yep. So enjoy the journey. Yes. And also to the people that have made it past one year, congratulations. <laughs> because <laughs> as they say, that first year is the toughest year. And I would say that it probably is one of the toughest years. And the good thing is year two is a little bit easier. Year three is a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Year four is a little bit easier. So as the years keep going on and progressing, so does the relationship. The relationship. Yep. So thought this would be a cool conversation for all those new couples out there mm -hmm. or dating or, yep. or just starting to get the feel for like, oh, man, like. How is that first year going to go? So <laughs> we hope that we can give you some good insight for that experience. And my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye. Enjoy the journey.